on a personal level, of course, I have tremendous respect for Kungi. We get along very well. Um, but, you know, I, I kind of think he's um, and his right to um, to make mistakes. And uh, unfortunately, I think this is mistaken. Um, I, I do. Let, I'll just address one thing quite clearly. Um, I think his effort to cast the Labour Party from the last election into a regional party is uh, is beneath Kongi, if I may say so. Um, now, you see, the Labour Party actually tracked, was a protest movement. Uh, the Labour Party in that presidential election was a protest movement. And it was a protest movement that grew out of the um, the dissonance of young people from the Buhari misadventure, uh, which was crystallized in the Lekki massacre. Now, by the way, the NSAS protest, which ended up on the 20th of, uh, of uh, October 2020 in the Lekki massacre, did not, was not an, a Southeast thing. That's, let's start there. It started in Ugeli, went through a do state, traveled to Lagos state, where it bivouacked at the Lekki, um, the 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 um, at the venue of the Lekki massacre before it actually went to the southeast and then went up north to Kaduna. Now, if you noticed, it, it's also the case that the Ensas protests uh, did not make a lot of headway into the northeast because the, many of the states of the northeast claimed that their problem was insecurity. And also in some of the states of the Northwest, like Zamfara, where they have the problem with bandits. And after the NEC, the National Economic Council decided to set up, to authorize the NSAS inquiries. There were about seven or eight Northern states that did not actually, about seven states that did not, in, did not set up the NSAS inquiries. The Labour Party absolutely, and I mean absolutely, tracked the the enters footprint. So the idea that this was somehow a localized movement of Southeasterners is absolute nonsense, total nonsense, misinformed nonsense, blinkered nonsense. Okay, that's the first thing. Now, by the way, when you look at the leading lights of the obedient movement or the Labour Party, who are they? David Hundei Ibo, Aisha Yesufu Ibo. Um, um, Mahmoud Aminu, Igbo, uh, name them. All of them are these leading Igbos, right? It, the whole thing is just blinkered nonsense. But there is an effort to cast the Labour Party into an Igbo movement because there is also a strategy to make it look like it is uh, the political wing of IPOB. All of that is utter nonsense. And I, I do think that the people trying to sow this would, should understand that it's also part of a campaign of hatred and quite honestly bigotry. But they'll be the first people to label you bigots um, when you say this. And I, I, do, I do think that at that point, uh, uh, Kongi needs to be called out. 